Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond the Table. My name is Janae, if you're new here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this brand called Look Organics. It's owned by this girl on Instagram. Her name is Caroline. It looks like this. It's called Look, Look Organics minimal ingredients all organic and all really good for your skin so i love that so of course you know i've been following her for years so when she came out with a skincare line her skin is flawless so i'm like okay i need to cop some so i tried this a few months ago right, well right when it came out i ordered some products i ordered all three of their first generation products now they have generation two which i haven't tried those yet but this is still generation one. So they have a restore. This is called restore. It's a moisturizer. And then they have a serum and then they have a toner. I got all three of them. And then I reordered two more of these and one more of this. So I guess I'll talk about each product individually first. So first up restore. This is a face moisturizer, but you can also use it as a uh, moisturizer anywhere else you need. So I have eczema on my hand. You might know if you, you've been a subscriber for a while, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see that on my hand. So the reason it's been like flaring up lately is because I've been eating wheat and that is one of my known triggers. I know that, but I'm not going to get into why I'm eating a lot of wheat these days, but I am. So of course, eczema is just like a side effect. I know this and I'm still eating it. That's a whole nother story. Anyway, this, let me tell you, this is a life saver. Like this helps my eczema so much. It's crazy. So I rub this all over my hands and that's a lot. I always apply too much. My husband's like, why are you using so much? You go through it so quickly. He uses it too, by the way, for his face. So that tells you something. So I apply it. And I just rub it into my hands and it feels really good. It, there is a little bit of like a um, like oily residue, if you can see. It takes some time for it to soak in. So I guess that would be really like the only con of the Restore moisturizer. But other than that, it's really good. It smells not really like anything, so that's good. Um, and yeah, I use this on my face and it's just really good. I would definitely recommend this. So it's anti-aging, antibacterial, and improved skin hydration. The ingredients are shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and vitamin E. Now, to be honest, I didn't know how my skin would react to having coconut oil in it because my skin doesn't really like, I have acne prone skin, by the way, uh, combination acne prone skin. It's not oily, it's not, if I had to pick oily or dry, it'd be like mostly dry with certain oily spots like in my T-zone. So I have combination skin and acne prone skin. So coconut oil, my skin never really liked coconut oil unless it was this one specific brand of coconut oil. So whenever I get products with coconut oil, normally my face flares up. Long story short, it actually likes this pretty well. So I like it. Then the next product is the serum. It comes with like a little dropper bottle like that. It says it improves skin tone, texture, and pigmentation. It has rosehip seed oil, aloe vera, vitamin E, lavender oil, and lemon essential oil. So the main ingredient is rosehip oil and aloe vera. So I was using rosehip oil before I came across this anyway on my face. So my skin likes it. Um, I'm, it's not like a holy grail product. The more I used it, I wasn't really seeing any results different than I was with just using plain rosehip oil, if that made sense. Um, I mean, it feels really, really nice going on and luxurious and it says to apply at night for best results. So yeah, I mean, obviously I bought it a second time, but I don't think I'll buy this again. I mean, overall, I really like these two products. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say this one, definitely. I have like another one in the cabinet stocked for when this runs out so that I don't run out because like I said, me and my husband both use it on our face and I use it on my hands. So it goes a little bit faster, but it does last a while. So not bad. Um, the last thing is the toner. I didn't really like the toner. I believe the toner's ingredients were 
apple cider vinegar and like some essential oils. I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen right here so you can see. I didn't, I'm, I'm not crazy about it. I know I never really was crazy about toners anyway, but then I'm like, you know what? I should get a toner for my face. So I was just using rose water as you guys probably have seen some of my older skincare videos. I talk about rose water a lot and my skin really, really likes that as like a toner. So when I used this toner, I didn't really, like my skin didn't really like love it. So I didn't buy it again and it took me forever to get through it because I didn't use it every day because I didn't really see any like the benefits from using it for my skin personally. Your skin might love it, but that's just my opinion. Like I said, reviewing Look Organics, I think what she's doing is really great. And I would definitely recommend this product if I had to pick just one, the moisturizer. So yeah, if you're wondering whether to get it or not, I hope this video helped you out. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.